Everybody. This is a Urania 7, a German typewriter from 1931. At first glance, uh, there is a great uh, resemblance between this uh, Urania 7 to its uh, predecessor models, but uh, the Urania 7 has a completely new construction. When the Model 7 was uh, brought uh, on the market, uh, it uh, turned out uh, to be expensive, so that the previous model, the Model 7, continued to be built in parallel as a cheaper alternative. Model 7 was also heavier than Model 6. The openings on both sides of the frame are closed with the cover plates. There is a black and red ribbon and the tabulator. It was manufactured by Clemens Müller GmbH Dresden, established in 1885 as saving machine producers. In 1909 they start the production of the Urania series of typewriters. You can still see here the name of the producer. It's not very clear, many times have passed. In these old manuals there are the most common spare parts for Urania series of typewriters. Also here other spares. There is the part number for every spare. You had to order it by phone or direct, directly to the salespeople when he visit you. On the left rear of the carriage there is also a transport lock. It has an interesting mechanism. You raise it and you turn it and the carriage of the typewriter is blocked. Easy. The keyboard has uh, 46 buttons. There is a nice uh, typing character, the M in cursive, and uh, other typing characters typical of the German language. This is the shift for uh, major schools, and this is the shift block. The backspace. The selector for the color of the ribbon is here. Black, red and no color for the matrix or mimeograph for example. We can also see the inside of the mechanism. This little crank on the right is to advance the ribbon. If you press it, the ribbon moves on the other side. It's funny if you try it, it seems to go fishing. Here you set the margins. And this button is a margin bypass. The lever on the left is to move the carriage back and forth. There is a guide. And two clips for the paper sheet. With this lever you can adjust the paper sheet. With these levers you fix the upper rollers on the paper bar. On the right knob there is a missing part. With this hook there is a mechanism to fix the ratchet wheel on the roller, you see. And this lever on the top right is if you want to move the roller independently of the ratchet wheel notches to make corrections, center the letters on the line, etc. This is the interline selector with the five positions, and this is the interline lever. This is the tabulator button. You set the tabulator with these little levers. There is this complex mechanism for the tabulation in the back. 
it was uh, also expensive to produce, of course. This is a bell mechanism. After so many time, it's a bit uh, out of tune. The typewriter has another particularity. The carriage is removable by swinging two latch levers on the back, so you can interchange it with another carriage, maybe longer. For the first time, different carriage size can be used on the same basic machine. Here, the complete carriage is removed, and you can simply place it again on the typewriter. and close the latch again. There is nothing else to do, and uh, you have a new carriage on the typewriter. This typewriter is not very famous, but uh, has some particularities. The tabulation system, the system for advancing the ribbon, and the removal of the carriage. I think uh, it's well designed, uh, even if uh, it's a bit complex. Have a nice day.